Let's see we learn. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 15, starting at verse 1. Then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song unto the Lord Yahweh, and spake, saying, I will sing unto the Lord Yahweh, for he hath triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider hath he thrown down into the sea. The Lord Yahweh is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. He is my God and I will prepare him in habitation, my father's God, and I will exalt him. Verse three is the point. The Lord Yahweh is a man of war. The Lord Yahweh is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his hosts hath he cast down into the sea. His chosen captains also are drowned in the Red Sea. First and foremost, we want to give all glory and honor and praise unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakakodash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone will teach and rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the whole for elect. I'm the brother Lachimo. I'm the brother Dabya. And we just going to get right into this quick lesson, man. That excerpt that I just read in Exodus, you know, the uh, 15th chapter, the point was the Heavenly Father is a man of war. And, you know, that's what these heathens understand, you know. That during that excerpt right there, the heavenly father, Yahweh, you know, delivered the children of Israel out of the hand of Pharaoh, out of the land of Egypt, ancient Egypt, by way of Yahweh Shah through Moses. All right. So, like, we're going to get into this quick lesson, man. These heathens, they talking about their space force. But see, Ronald Reagan was talking about this thing way back in the 80s and probably even before then. See, I was born in the 80s, so I don't remember what happened before then, but. I'm quite sure some videos that then surface, <laughs> we can make more points through the scriptures, how these devils going to get ready to fight against the Lord when he come back, man. So we're going to play this, uh, this quick little video, President Ronald Reagan on an alien threat at the United Nations. And see, he's talking about an alien threat when alien only means just basically like not from here, out of this world. You see the, the aliens, the so-called aliens that he's talking about are the angels. And Yahweh Shah, when Yahweh Shah get ready to return and take this hit, take this earth over, man, and cast this devil out of his heaven, the so-called white man. So you can play that a little bit. Get that video. In our obsession with antagonism at the moment, we often forget how much you might. If it's if it's buffering a little bit, all the don't know what's going on with it. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound i occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world and yet i ask you is not an alien force already among us what could be more alien to the universal aspirations of our peoples than war and the threat of war? Yep. And so I just read, man, Exodus 15 and 3. I'm going to get it again. Come. I'm going to get uh, this Exodus 15 and 3 one more time. It says, the Lord Yahweh is a man of war. The Lord Yahweh is his name. And see, it's going to take war to free the nation of Israel up, man. You know, the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians. It's going to take our big brother, Yahweh, to come back and wage war against these devils, man. They don't want to freely let us go, man. Just like Pharaoh, when the Lord told Pharaoh to let his people go. He let them go, but what did, what did he do after that, man? He chased after them. You know, he didn't want to let that slide, man. You know, he pursued them. So the Lord raised up pride in Pharaoh's heart. To where he chased out the children of Israel, then the Lord had to destroy him, man. Same thing finna get ready to happen to these heathens in this time, man. This is modern day Egypt. And the Lord is getting ready to come <laughs> and take us up out this bitch, man. Start beginning with the elect of the nation of Israel, the 144,000 and the rest of the innumerable multitude that's believing in this report of the prophets, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You got some? Mm. Um you can pull up that article too, but that's that's it on that uh video. Yeah, I'm gonna put up pull up the article before. I open. Mm -hmm. 
Yep, because, you know, these devils, man, they getting ready to fight against the Lord when he come back. That's why they've been talking about an alien threat. Nah, it's not an alien threat. It's Yahweh Shah and his angels coming to threaten these motherfuckers. Threaten these motherfuckers, man. I'm going to grab this one right quick. Because when you got these scriptures in you, man, the spirit bring these scriptures up out of you. You know? That's why it's important to read. Well, that's going in. Well, this, yeah, I'll grab this because we're going in the second Ezra 13. But this second Ezra uh, chapter 16. And I'm going to get straight to the point. Verse 11, because they say an alien threat, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 11. It says, the Lord shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence. These heathens finna get ready to get beat to powder, man. And we're going to explain that, man. You know? As you can see in the article, well, you say you're going to get a priest up first? Yeah, before, I mean, yeah. Get, get the article before I get the priest up. Alright. Yeah, we can read some of that. Well, I'll read some more, uh, just scroll through. It says France, Germany. France and Germany join US space war fighting plan. Yeah. Olympic Defender. And that's from the the breaking defense um dot com. Yep. Because France and Germany is a part of NATO, that beast system, man. I'm gonna get um the countries that are involved with the beast, which is NATO. It's like, and these are the, these are the countries. I could have just went to my images cause I saved this. These are the countries that are, you know, allies to America, which makes up the, the B system, NATO and the EU. This It says uh, France, Italy. Let's see some. Let me go back to the West. I may have left some of that out. Yeah, I did. Damn, how did I do that? Wow. All right, so this is the, this is the NATO and the EU, the beast. Because it says on the article, France, and Germany joined U.S. space for all these motherfuckers finna get ready to all the all the NATO countries getting ready to join the space force, man. All of them getting ready to fight against the law when he come back. It's United States, the United Kingdom, Germany, France, Italy, Canada, Poland, Netherlands, Spain, Turkey, Sweden, Norway, Romania, Greece, Belgium, Finland, Czech Republic, Hungary, Denmark. Portugal, Slovakia, Bulgaria, Lithuania, Estonia, Croatia, Latvia, Slovenia, Luxembourg, Albania, North Macedonia, Montenegro, and Iceland. These are the these are the countries that makes up NATO, which is the beast, man. NATO and the EU, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. They all getting ready to fight against the Lord. When they get ready to come back with their space force, in which they're going to be utterly destroyed, man. It says France, Germany, join U.S. space warfighting plan, Olympic Defender. Space comes releases today characterize Operation Olympic Defender as a multinational effort that focuses to optimize space operations, improve mission assurance. Enhance resilience of space-based systems. Synchronize efforts to strengthen deterrence against hostile actors <laughs> and reduce the spread of debris, debris orbiting the earth. Who causing that fucking debris that's orbiting the earth? You fucking devils. Because you got all kinds of shit up there, man. You know? <laughs> and then it, it, it's speaking about um, hostile actors, you know, going to tell the Lord and his angels, man. Yo, you know they 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 trying to to you know bring up a defense against them. Yep. When the Lord's return, and as it says, a a, a multinational, you know, effort. 
Man, this this worldwide, man. Mm -hmm. You know, when the Lord come back, is you know, is 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 it's gonna be a, a worldwide, you know, situation, experience, um, chaos, you know, catastrophe, man. Yep. Cause you got, you know, you got China, you got China, Russia, and in which the scripture talk about how the beast shall hate the whore, the whore, which is America. You got Turkey trying to straddle the fence. You know, they with Tur Turkey is a NATO country, you know, but they straddling the fence with Russia. So at the wild man, Turkey going to fully leave NATO because they ain't going to have no choice, man. They going to get tired of this beast, this fucking whore, man. This whole riding them, you know, they're going to join with Russia. And that's going to be one of the, probably one of the first <laughs> NATO countries that's going to get ready to shoot missiles over this motherfucker, man, for what they're doing to the so-called Muslim um, nation, the Arab nation, man. You know? So all these countries going to be at war with each other, man. Russia, China against, you know what I'm saying, the, the East versus the West. Mm -hmm. You know? All these countries going to be at war with each other in space. Which is the final frontiers, they say. Um, it says, um, I'm gonna read some more. It says, you got some? Um, yeah, um, I can bring this out. This is Revelation chapter 12. Get straight to the point. On um, verse 7, it say, And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought in his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. Mm -hmm. Verse 9. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil. Yeah, the so-called white man is the devil, man, that the Bible speaks about. Because devil only means deceiver. This man telling you that these are aliens. And which these are angels. That's some deceptive ass shit right there, man. You know, in all his fucking movies, he got... The, see the, see the so-called UFO? They're real. They're the chariots of the Lord, but this this goddamn devil, he got it in his movies like these are fucking green guys with big ass heads and snake shaped big ass eyes, man. Mm. You know, you see veins in their head and shit. Nah, man, that's some that's a bunch of bullshit. This man got to go. This man had us deceived of who our power was, and he know damn well those are our big brothers just getting ready to come back and get us, man. Lord willing, we build that number. You got it. It say, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angel was cast out with him. Yeah, they got their yeah, blasted out the upper atmosphere, man. They fucking space for us. Man, lay his nest upon the stars. We gonna get that. You got it. Verse 10, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now it's come salvation. Here come Yahweh Shai and, and the angels and the chariots. Here come our salvation, man. Our salvation is nearer than we when we, when we believe. You got it. And strength and the kingdom of our power, and the power of his Amashiach, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down. The Lord finna get ready to cast these motherfuckers down to the earth, man. They finna get ready to sit in the fucking dust. If you want to expound on something, you go ahead. Mm -hmm. It say, which accused them before our power, day and night. But yeah, but man, like, like the brother was saying, you know, hey... <laughs> That's 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 prophecy, man. That's future prophecy, and and those things have to happen because the Lord is 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 causing all this just to show His power to come back to get His His people, man. You know, He ain't, He ain't gonna gonna leave His people here behind enemy lines forever. No, He coming back to get them, starting with His elect, one hundred forty-four thousand, man. And, and and Esau knows this. That's why Esau is preparing for this because. Esau don't want his kingdom to go down, which is it's gonna go down. It's prophesied that his kingdom is gonna go down. Esau, Esau do not want to be taken out of rulership, man. You know, Esau love his kingdom. You know, Esau love being on top. <laughs> Esau love love being the head, and 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 you know the Israelites, you know the tail, man. You know, as the scriptures say, um. They shall think that their houses shall continue forever. No, man, the Lord is coming to to to, to put it to a a, a, a halting screech, however they say, it, you know. Mm -hmm. Screeching hope. Yeah, screeching hope, man. You know, stop stopping it right in his tracks, man. You know that's that's why Esau is is he he is moving fast. You know, with his agenda, he trying to get his new world order up off of the ground, man. And he he he's trying he's trying to to. 
to 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 crucify the Lord a, a third time, man. You know, he tried to 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 wipe the name of of Israel, you know, out out off the map, man. He tried to wipe them from being a nation off the map. Nope. Nope. <laughs> he 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 he's in in the midst of a uh, of um depopulating the earth down to five hundred million, man. You know, and, and if and if a, a Israelite in that number is only a few of them, man, a small percentage, mm -hmm. you know. Yep. That was it on that. You want me to read that article? I don't know if you can see that or not. Oh uh, yeah, I got it. It says, "Uh, Washington, U.S. Space Command today welcome France and Germany as the newest participants in Operation Olympic Defender." The U.S. We gonna we Lord willing, you know, we can keep this article and go into what that Operation Olympic Defender, you know, what I'm saying entails because it got a link to it. So you know, we want to look it up. You know, what I'm saying you can touch on that link and go further into it. It says the U.S. military's operational planning process for war fighting in space. See, <laughs> war fighting in space. Did they see the chariots? Mm -hmm. They got the International Space Station. They got um. They got that big ass telescope that sits on the mountain. I think it's called a some Satan or some shit. Um, they they got one called on um, the Lucifer telescope. Yo, that's, that's that huge ass telescope. Yo, and then um, I I just seen a video um earlier today on, on Instagram where they were ask asking Alexa um what what this is is the name of a telescope. Like it, 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 it have a, a a man's name, and they were like, "What, what did this telescope see?" And Alexa said that the uh, that the telescope seen basically a, a a fleet of chariots heading towards the Earth at light speed. Yep, yep, yeah. I think I seen a couple of them videos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was some shorts. A couple of brothers had did lessons on them, something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. They 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 see the chariots, man. They scrambling right now. You know, this has been this has been an ongoing thing trying to get this space force off the ground, but shit, these motherfuckers further than what we think though, with that space force shit, man. You know, I'm gonna read this precept right quick. This is uh Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, the Lord Yahweh will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord Yahweh plead with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. Your mm -hmm. space force ain't gonna fucking make it, man. Yeah, no. We done, it's been too many videos that done surface how these things, you can't fucking stay on their ass, man. You can't stay, you can't hang with them. Mm -hmm. How the fuck can you fuck with, can you fuck with something that can disappear on your ass? Right. And end up behind you. Right. <laughs> it's like you chasing it, it disappear now he chasing you. Or, 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 either, or either you you chasing it, and then it it just stopped directly in this in this tracks and back back step, you know, and, and zoom through your aircraft. Yep. You know, slicing it in half, man. Yeah, yeah. Those chairs are, are indestructible, man. Yeah, yeah. Or uh, or uh, you chasing it, it make itself small as a fly and end up inside your body and expand and burst your ass. Right. <laughs> hey, man, it ain't that too far fetched, man. Hey, hey, it ain't it ain't far fetched, man. You know, and, and, and Esau understand this, man. Yeah. You know, they, they had they, they had a, a little meeting or whatever you want to call it. And the old buddy said, God damn, you talk about something that can disappear and right. you know, take off and, and, and you know, travel through through different dimensions and, and come back. Come. You know, it, it ain't nothing we can do about it. Because the chariots defy gravity, man. Right. But yet, y'all still trying to fight against it, man. But that's the spirit that the Lord done put on the air. Right. And we going to get it in his second edge of right. 13th chapter. Hey, this, this, this is not a, 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 a movie, Esau. Right. I mean, it's it's the Lord's movie, Lord but movie, the yeah. Lord is going to come out gonna come out on top. This is a real life movie. Right. This, this is not your movie, Esau. This is not Independence Day. This is not alien invasion. You know, your, your, your different type of alien, you know, um invade movies man right this is a true story right <laughs> see this is a true story right i i, I want to get this one right here because this popped up you yeah. know when um when i was speaking about that alexa 
This is Revelation chapter 22, verse 12. It said, and behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according to his work shall be. Right, man, the Lord is, is coming back quickly, man. Yep. He's coming back with judgment. He's coming back with, with the good judgment and the bad judgment. Yep. You know, the judgment of, of the just and the judgment of the wicked, man. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> hey. That, that's 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 why we we constantly warn our people you know like like bros like return back to the lord man because yep. if, if you don't your ass is grass man your lord finna come back and kick ass man right he is not playing man contrary it's, to that it's like contrary to that bullshit that we done learned in the church man right lord ain't coming back with no kisses and hugs man yeah no the lord finna come back and destroy shit he coming back conquering man he's the lion out of the tribe of judah what does a, what does a lion do? A lion devour, yeah, especially yeah. when it's angry, yeah, and hungry. And, and what that precept say? Um, the Lord is angry with the wicked every, every day. day, man. Come, come. Let me get some more of this. If you ain't got no no no, right quick. It says, I'm gonna read it again. It says, Washington U.S. Space Command today welcome France and Germany as the newest participants in Operation Olympic Defender, the U.S. military's operational planning process for warfighting in space. Spacecom, Commander General Stephen Whiten will not make it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you slid that in. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, what they say that is? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He will not make it. That's, hey, that's a true story. True. Hey, fact. This shit real. <laughs> <laughs> Spacecom Commander General Stephen Whiten traveled to Paris on October 14th and Berlin on October 11th to attend the two induction ceremonies with Major General Philip Felipe Adam. He won't make it. French Space Commander and Lieutenant General Gunter Schneider, he won't make it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Director General for Military Strategy, Strategy and Operations at the German Ministry of Defense respectively, according to twin Spacecom press releases. So this is the most hot and gave y'all the technology to do this shit, man. Mm -hmm. How can you fight against the one that didn't gave you this technology, man? Mm -hmm. Don't you know the sensei, he'll teach you, but he ain't gonna teach your ass everything because you're, you're gonna try to try to rise up against him because he didn't got an old, at an old age, you know, we talking about the ancient days, but still, you know, that's just me speaking of the man because the, the, the most high got all power. Mm -hmm. You know, but we talk about like in the scriptures how the men was they was called the ancient men has they and upon the ancient has thou very heavily laid thy yoke. The older men, the elderly man. Mm -hmm. You know, the sensei done got elderly and stuff like that, but he, he teach your ass everything. Yeah, no. You know what I'm saying? He know the tricks of the trade, boy. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, that 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 like with anybody, whether you are a, a chef. You know what? Whether you uh work on cars, you you is not finna finna teach your you know your secrets. Yeah, you is nah. not finna teach the good stuff, man. Yep. Come, on. get some more of this uh article. It says representative of Australia, Canada, the United Kingdoms. See, the United Kingdom is a part of NATO. Australia, Canada, the United Kingdom, and newest member new zealand mm. see that's all that's all the nato countries man all of them coming which accepted the u.s invitation on september 5th they had no choice it says also participated spacecom said seamlessly integrating with our international partners come <laughs> yields a collective asymmetric advantage that cannot be replicated by any one nation command or service acting on their own whiting said during the paris ceremony scroll up a little bit mm -hmm. Slap it. Mm -hmm. it said right there created in 2013 by u.s strategic command which at the time had responsibility for u.s military space operations Operational Olympic Defender was updated in 2018 to open up allied part participation. Australia, Britain, and Canada joined in 2020. They ain't have no choice. It's NATO, the beast. White and extended, the beast gonna be, man. White and extended the in, invite to France and Germany, Germany 
along with New Zealand. And I just read all the all the NATO countries. Mm. All these are NATO countries. On April 9th at the Space Sympo Symposium, yeah, Symposium in Colorado Springs. Oh, that's that shit will be like it that. on that. Uh, that's some more now, a little bit more. Yeah, I'll, I'll read it. It says Snyder's statement stressed the determined value of allied cooperation to keep eyes on the heavens. Whoo, mm. that's heavy. And watch out for potentially dangerous activities by adversaries. This this man's mm -hmm. the adversary of the most high. Mm -hmm. let, let me get this precept right here. Yep. This is um, Obadiah chapter one. All right. Um, the point in verse four, but I'm going to start at verse one. It said, the vision of Obadiah. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh power concerning Edom. Okay. Esau, the so-called white man. Mm. The self-proclaimed white man. It said, we have heard a rumor from the Lord Yahweh, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen, thou art greatly despised. Yeah, everybody hate the so-called white man right now, yeah, man. Yeah. Especially all the uh, nations over there on the east. You know, e even though Russia, they eat them mites. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? But they hate they hate their own motherfucking people, right? You know, and them them Amalekites over there they eat them mites. Yeah, they hate their own people, <laughs> yeah. especially, especially um the your 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 six pack your Joe six pack, Come. the your your American eat them mites. Yeah, they look at you as useless eaters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, verse three it say the pride of dying heart has deceived. Yeah, this man pride is fucked. The scriptures say pride go before destruction and a hearty spirit before a fall. Mm -hmm. A hearty is a high-minded ass motherfucker, man. Mm -hmm. Thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock, yep. whose habitation is high, that said in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? The most high get ready to bring your ass down to the ground, man. Right, literally, man. Yeah. Verse 4, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, going into the space station, man. Yup. All right. This will I bring thee down, said the Lord. Yeah, how? Mm hmm You know, so, hey, <laughs> the fucking Edomites is up there. Mm -hmm. All right. The fucking Edomites is 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 ruling. That's that's their space station. You know that they um the Earth was given to their hands, man. Mm -hmm. You know they 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 didn't fuck the world up, man. You know they 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 didn't uh, um switch the switch switch the the way of life, you know. But and, and they are still trying to you know push on that agenda even more, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why they 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 looking for dangerous activities by adversaries. Who who else is up there in the galaxies right. in the space? Right, right. <laughs> well, well, Russia Russia sending shit up there. You know, China sending shit up there. Yeah, all, all the bricks nation. I know what you're saying. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. But the thing about it is, everybody trying to run to to space. The thing about it, they're gonna be going at it with each other. But like it's gonna read in Second Ezra 13 chapter, all these fucking nations gonna stop fighting each other mm -hmm. and come against him. See that what that what Reagan was saying. Play that play that video one more time. Uh -huh. That's what Reagan Reagan was saying. You know we should put away put aside our fucking differences, man, and come together. Right. That's the 2nd Israel 13th chapter. That's what they're going to do. It's like, hold on. Yep, play that one more time. In our obsession with antagonisms at the moment, we are often forget how much unites all the members of humanity. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bond. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from out inside this world. And yet I ask 
you. Is not an alien force already among us? What could be more alien to the universal aspirations of our peoples than war and the threat of war? Yep. <laughs> yep. And, and you, you motherfuckers, are gonna get what you ask for, man. Yep. Tell me, put perhaps, perhaps we we need a what? What you say? Ba basically, you know, shit. Ba uh, we we need we we need this this to happen so we can recognize, you know, our 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 common, you know differences or, or whatever the fuck he was saying but you're gonna mm -hmm. get you're gonna get what you asked for man yeah, yeah. you know those chairs is coming man and, and they're, they're coming you know with all power man mm -hmm. all power yep let me grab this is joel third chapter verse nine straight to the point proclaim ye this among the gentiles prepare war wake up the mighty men let all the men of war draw near let them come up Beat your plowshares and the swords, all your farming equipment. Cause now the the like the poorest nations got nuclear missile capability now, man. Mm -hmm. That's a sword. That's the ultimate sword. Mm -hmm. You know, it said, beat your plowshares and the swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. The weakest nation got nuclear capability now, man. They arming up. Mm -hmm. The Lord is preparing their ass for war. I just read it, Exodus fifteen. And three, the Lord Yahweh is a man of war. He is the that's why they call him the Lord of hosts. Right. Hosts mean armies. He is the Lord of armies. He created these motherfuckers to them destroy themselves right. and conquer other nations. You know? Mm-hmm. You got it. This is um Zechariah chapter five. All right, I'm just gonna start at one. It reads then I turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked and behold a flying robe. What is that? That's a chariot, man. Mm -hmm. So called UFO. Right. Verse 2. And he's flying said, a saucer. Right. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying robe. The length thereof is 20 cubits and the breadth thereof 10 cubits. Going into the size of the size and the shape. Yep. Verse 3. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stealeth shall be cut off as on this side according to it, and everyone that sweareth shall be cut off as on that side according to yeah, it. Yeah, and this man swear he the most high. Right. He swear he God. And this is stolen land. Right. This land is stolen. This land is filled with the blood of the saints. Mm-hmm. You know, not to mention some of them may be martyrs. The Lord gonna get your ass, man. And you deserve it. Because your pride have extolled to the clouds, man. You got mm -hmm. it. Verse 4. It say, and I shall like it. I will bring it forth, said the Lord Yahweh of hosts. The Lord gonna make this happen. His words will not go out void, man. The heavenly father is not a man that he shall lie. Neither is the son of man that he should repent. Mm -hmm. You know, the Lord's word do not go out void, but they go out and accomplish the thing where to he sent it. Right. And we sending this to you motherfucking elites, man. <laughs> Prepare for fucking war. The Lord is coming back to get you. Yeah. Got it? Ain't no fucking hiding for you. You can go into your, your international space station, your underwater retreats, right. your bunkers. It don't fucking matter, man. When the Lord come back, you getting your ass pulled out wherever you're hiding it, man. Yeah, yeah. You're going to be the first fruits of slavery. You got it. <clears throat> and it shall enter into the house of the thief. Yup, this is the house of the thief, America. This is stolen fucking land. Mm -hmm. This land was already inhabited, man. They don't talk about that shit. They want to call these, these so-called Native Americans immigrants. No, motherfucker, this was their land. Mm -hmm. You came with the uh, the Gatling gun, that motherfucker, they go... <laughs> mm -hmm. Wipe them out. And you brought biological warfare. Gave them small pockets and small pots and blankets. Right. You gotta pay for that shit. Get ready. You got it. It say and into the house of them that swear falsely by my name. Yo. 
and it shall remain in the midst of his house and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. Ooh, them chariots, man. Gonna fuck shit up. Mm -hmm. Gonna fuck shit up. We just talk about the size of it. How big it is. The fathership, not no fucking mothership, man. You got it? Mm -hmm. no, that was it on that. Mm-hmm. Right, um, so so that 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 that's your so-called alien invasion right there, just just how you know how how it, it entered on the movie um Independence Day, how how it came through the, through the clouds you know with fire, and it just it just um sat there and, and hovered over the 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 earth the land, you know it, it's gonna do the same thing. But this one right here is it, gonna be extremely huge. Yep. You ain't gonna be able to tell the beginning nor the end, the end of it, man. Yep, like in Ezra, that what Ezra said, man. Mm -hmm. I'm get this Psalm sixty eight, and um, verse seventeen. It says the chariots of God are twenty thousand, mm. even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them in Sinai, as in Sinai in the holy place. Yeah, man. The, man, listen, thousands upon thousands upon thousands of angels is finna come. And get you, man. Ain't no way you can fuck with him, man. And you, Jake, it'll behoove you to get on the right side, man. You can't straddle the fence, man. Ain't no fucking gray area. Either you gonna join hand with this man, you gonna die with him, or you gonna get back on the side of your power. But we know you two thirds ain't gonna do that. You gonna stay on the side. You gonna keep running down to Egypt for help <laughs> mm -hmm. till you be destroyed, consumed off the face of the earth, man. But us over here, that's for our how we gonna serve the Lord. Your whole body, your all shot through the spirit and power, man. You know, yeah. you got it. This is uh Nahum chapter two, starting at verse one. But uh, my point is gonna be in um verse four. It say he dashes in pieces is come up before thy face. Keep the munition, watch the way, make thy loins strong, fortify thy power mightily. For the Lord Yahweh have turned away the excellency of Jacob as the excellency of Israel. For the emptiers have emptied them out and married and marred their vine branches. The shield of his mighty man is made red. The veiled men are in scarlet. The chariots shall be with flaming torches in the day of his preparation. And the fir trees shall be terribly shaken. The chariots shall rage in the streets. They shall just the one against another in the broadways. They shall seem like torches. They shall run like the lightning. Man. You know, so so they they there's gonna be moving recklessly, you know, uh, amongst the streets and 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 in between buildings and stuff like that, man. You know, they they they're gonna be. It's, it's like it's like it's gonna be a a, a, a game like who who can zap the most motherfuckers into powder man. oh my goodness man you know <laughs> just just how, how how it was on independence day how they came out shooting choo 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 you know trying trying to see who who can zap the 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 most man what you know? hey that that's how they're gonna be moving man and and, and on top of that <laughs> They they're gonna be disappearing and reappearing. They're gonna go and and, and in reverse, you know, <laughs> with one motion, man. Mm, mm. Hey, it's, it's 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 gonna bro, it's it's gonna be chaos out here, man. God. The, and this, this is the thing Esau is prepared for. This is the thing Esau think that he have, you know, the 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 things this this is what Esau is preparing for. Esau think he have weapons, you know, to 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 stop this. This um invasion of the Lord and His angels, man. You know he he don't he don't have nothing for it, man. <laughs> the why the Lord say the deceived and the deceiver are his, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. The, the Lord has deceived your ass through Satan, man. Spiritual demon Satan. You are his counterparts. You know. And you have deceived the world, so you basically are both. You both. Mm -hmm. You are the this the so-called white man is the deceiver and he is deceived. I got two more. <laughs> yeah, God. This is verse five. It say he shall recount his worthies. They shall stumble in their walk. They shall make they shall make haste to the wall thereof, and the defense shall be prepared. Right, man. You know when when 
the people see this, you know, East Side Eden first and foremost, hey, they they're they gonna stumble, man. Come. You know, they're gonna be trying to climb the walls and and and, and build a defense, man. Verse 16, it says, the gates of the river shall be opened and the palace shall be dissolved, man. And that's America, man. America will be dissolved, man. Come on. You know, the valley of, of the shadow of death, man. Out of here. Benito. Out of here, man. You got it. Yep, come on. <clears throat> I'm getting this revelation right quick. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Revelation 19 chapter. Start at verse one. It says, "And after these things, I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying, Alleluia, salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Lord our God, for true and righteous are His judgments, for He hath judged the great whore, which mm -hmm. did corrupt the earth with her fornication, and have avenged the blood of His servants at her hand. You got blood on your hand, man. You got the saints' blood on your hand. Mm -hmm. You know they ain't fully came for us yet." But the devil getting ready to come down with great wrath because they know they have but a short time, man. Right. You know? And and that, that great whore is going into America. Uh -huh. know, that, that whore that sit on the back of the beast. Yeah, a nigga did a video on TikTok, man, at what they call it, TikTok University now. The brother <laughs> called it TikTok. The nigga did a whole video. The title of his lesson was Mystery Babylon. And I'm going to show y'all a mystery. The nigga ain't say nothing. All right. The only thing he did was read scripture. And you still left out with without saying who the great whore was. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna share it on the group chat. <laughs> the nigga didn't say nothing, man. All right. Get what? The great whore still a mystery. Mm -hmm. <laughs> After your video, it's still a mystery. All right. <laughs> this, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> it's still a mystery. And this, this motherfucker right here give 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 women liberty to get abroad, man. Gun. The Statue of Liberty, man. You know mm -hmm. these women have have rights. You know, above men and over men, man. And not only that, this motherfucker done turned the men whores. All right. And how? Spiritual adultery. Mm hmm. Hey, let's talk about some fucking Jesus fucking Christ. All right. Turned us into spiritual harlots, man. Mm hmm. Any of you niggas that see it called no Jesus fucking Christ, man, the Lord is going to destroy you, man. Mm -hmm. And especially you niggas that know the name of the Lord and you teach it otherwise. Yeah, yeah. How much more are you niggas, man? Niggas crazy. Is uh verse two for true and righteous are his judgments, for he have judged the great whore, which did corrupt the earth with her fornication, have avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. And again they said, Alleluia, and her smoke rose up forever and ever. And the four and twenty elders and the four beasts fell down and worshiped God that sat on the throne, saying, Amen, Alleluia. And a voice came out of the throne saying, Praise our power, all ye his servants, and ye that fear him, both small and great. And I heard, as it were, the voice of a great multitude, as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thundering, saying, Alleluia, for the Lord, Yahweh, God omnipotent, reigneth. Let us be glad and rejoice and give him and give honor to him. For the marriage of the lamb is come, and his wife hath made herself ready. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, having this truth, man. Mm -hmm. Made all trying to make ourselves pure, man. Coming mm -hmm. to the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, repenting for our sins, man. You know? Mm -hmm. And having the real name of the Heavenly Father and his only begotten Son, and the 100% doctrine, which makes us pure. Ain't no God found in our mouth. Uh, it says, and to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. And he said unto me, right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me, these are the true sayings of God. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, see, thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren. This was the angel talking to him, talking to John. He said, he said, see thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant. The angels serve us, man. Mm -hmm. Especially when we in a fucked up state of mind. The angels come and minister to us. That's what angel mean. Minister, man. Mm -hmm. Messenger. Yeah, me yeah, it's like a messenger. Yeah. But they do minister with a message, with a good message mm -hmm. from the king. 
in the prince. It says, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh worship God for the testimony of Yahweh the spirit of prophecy. Verse 11, and I saw heaven opened and behold a white horse and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. This talk about Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. And is in righteousness, he doth judge and make war. Get ready to fight Yahweh Shah when y'all, man, listen. Get that motherfucking space for us up and running, man. What the fuck are you waiting for? We ready to get the fuck up out of here. <laughs> Bro, you, 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 they gonna need the space force and, and now the, 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 the military equipment and, and vehicles huh? that, that they done retired that's sitting around here in museums and shit. Y'all gonna need all that shit. Y'all gonna need to bring back the Gatling gun and all that shit. The fucking, the fucking rifles, the muzzles, the mo <laughs> you know, you got to pack the gun. You don't need all that shit. You is not going to win, bro. Yup. Crank that old ass battleship up down there to sitting on the callway, man. Yeah, yeah. Crank that bitch up, man. Stop holding all them damn parties and shit on that old ass motherfucker, man. Yeah, yeah. Get that bitch out of retirement. Y'all going to need as much as help as y'all can get, man. Uh -huh. It's going to be a terrible and, and, and messed up day, man, when the Lord come back and you ain't on this side, man. You are an enemy. Mm -hmm. You're going to get fucked up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it said, I'm going to read it again. And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire, not blue eyed. Right. And on his head were many crowns because he done conquered these nations, man. Mm -hmm. Listen, if if you if you a king and you get your crown took, that means you got put to death. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't want to get your crown took. That's why the Lord take us. Let tell us, let no man take your crown. Mm -hmm. Let no man take our crown, man. And what we strive for that crown. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but himself. The elect know his name because we make up the body of him, man. Mm -hmm. You know? It's Yahushua. It says, and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the word of our power. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses. These are angels. Mm -hmm. They coming too. They going to come flying. The Lord say, the scriptures say, you know, uh, um the angel damn i have to get it um like like birds flying the lord shall defend his jerusalem. people jerusalem yeah like birds flying they're gonna birds flying yeah um, the ain't the ain't they're gonna be flying in formation like uh like uh the ducks you know when they when they fly in the formation like the mighty ducks man they fly in that v formation that's how the chariot's coming back with the lord man he gonna be the he gonna be the tip of the spear mm-hmm you nations done fucked up. You nations done fucked up, man. It is. I, nope. Isaiah chapter 31, verse 5. As birds flying, so will the Lord Yahweh of hosts defend Jerusalem. Defending also, he will deliver it, and passing over, he will preserve it. Yeah, he coming to defend us, man. Mm -hmm. And deliver us, man. Mm -hmm. And, and he coming to destroy shit. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> All in one, baby. Yeah, triple D. You know, cause destruction. Defend yeah, yeah. and deliver. Mm -hmm. Triple D. Hey, them them the reparations we looking for, man. Gun. We want salvation about this bitch, man. We we yeah. realize we being oppressed, man. All that political shit. That shit don't fucking fuck with us, man. Hell no. That shit is fucking trash. You niggas arguing about who you gonna vote for. I'm gonna vote for this. I'm gonna vote for that, man. Motherfuck yeah. both of them candidates, man. That shit is just call a motherfucker to kill each other. <laughs> yeah, for real, for real. That's real shit, man. That shit real. You know? You got motherfuckers that didn't kill their grandparents, all kinds of shit, kill their children over that political shit, man. That's one of the two most controversial subjects on the planet Earth. Politics and religion. Mm -hmm. It's heaven, man. It's uh <clears throat> I'm gonna read verse 14 again. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses clothed in fine linen white and clean and out of his mouth goeth the sharp sword that with it he should smite the nation smite mean to kill man yeah yeah it said <laughs> she it said out of his mouth goeth the sharp sword that with it he should smite the nations 
and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. The Lord coming back to rule over people, man. Rule over you fucking heathens. Lord willing, we be joint heirs, and we going to have our hands and be your back in with a rod of iron, too. Yeah. Just like you did over oh, Will. We going to have some still. What? You know? Gonna bust your shit open. To whatever color meat we want it to be. Yeah. <laughs> Type shit. I'm looking for the blue meat. <laughs> the purple. I want the beige meat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah, you say, um, and out of his mouth goes the sharp sword that with it he should smite the nation, and he shall rule them with the rod of iron. And he treaded the wine press of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. He gonna tread the wine press on you, more. He coming to stomp you, motherfuckers, out, man. That's what it means to tread a wine press when you making wine. You got to stomp them grapes out. Mm -hmm. That's why I say you got a vesta dipped in blood. Mm -hmm. Not literally, but figuratively, man. You know, the Lord is coming to stomp you fucking heathens out, man. Heathens have no hope. Mm -hmm. And the Lord get the Lord has been smiting these motherfuckers in numbers. Mm -hmm. Just had a bus that flipped with like 22 children on it or something, some grown-ups or whoever. <laughs> <laughs> whoever. The Lord is not a respectable person, man. Whoever. He ain't even know. Man, they ain't see it coming. That was they look. That was their final destination. Uh, That's me and a, f a good friend of mine was talking about today, man. Final destination. You never know when it's your final destination. That's why it, it'll behoove you to get on the uh side on the right side of the heavenly father, man. All right, like the scriptures say, make no tarrying. Yo, come. Do not put this off from day to day. Yo. Hey, the Lord can come one of those days, you'll be fucked. Yeah, yeah, man. The Lord come on, come on your ass like a thief in the night. You weren't watching. Mm -hmm. You get took, you get taken. Verse 16, it says that he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, <laughs> come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great god let's talk about buzzards man let's talk about buzzards and vultures you know mm -hmm. they get ready to eat all the fucking dead bodies man this shit real yeah. <laughs> it said that ye may eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of captains and the flesh of mighty men and the flesh of horses and of them that sit on them and the flesh of all men, both free and bond, both small and great, man. Mm. You get your ass sent over there to the so-called Middle East, you ain't coming back. Mm -hmm. And they done sent a hundred, what, a hundred troops over that motherfucker, something like that. They ain't coming back. You can kiss their ass goodbye. It's real over that mother. It's more real than what they showing on TV. Shit, yeah. We just watched the video motherfucker burning in their bed. Mm-hmm. On fire, screaming, hollering. <laughs> Can't move. <laughs> Can't move. Man, knowing the terror of the Lord that we persuade men. All right, man. Hey, you, 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 you got to know that it's serious when the Lord done, done, done promised his spouse a, a, a buffet, a feast. Ooh, man. That's what it is. Ooh, let me read that again. Uh, Revelation 19 to 17, that's heavy. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God. He finna feed they ass, mm -hmm. man. Good. They yeah. finna eat good. Yeah, just, just like his elect is gonna eat good in a time of trouble. You say unto the supper. Mm. Man, when it's time to eat that motherfucking supper, man, you got there trying to rush home. You try to get ready, man. You gonna sit at that table and get your handkerchief. You gonna be like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that mother is everybody get the knife and fork by uh, stomach growling out there before you sit down. Them buzzer stomach gonna be growling, man. They ain't gonna even have to fly through the outer surface shit. It's right there. Right there. Right there. That's heavy. It says that you may eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of captains and the flesh of mighty men and the flesh of horses and of them that sit on them in the flesh of all men mm. both free and bond both small and great mm -hmm. 
And I saw the beasts and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse. Here it come. Space Force. Mm -hmm. Space Force. Get your ass ready. These are the words of the heavenly father through his only begotten son. It said, and I saw the beast, NATO and the EU, with all these all the, uh, member countries that just joined the goddamn Space Force, man. Germany and, and who else it was? France. You know, get y'all that ready. It says, and I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. And the beast was taken. Taking me, you got your ass put to death. You're right. <laughs> you know? That's like when the flood came. All them people were taken, man. Only only righteous, um, I mean, yeah, only um Noah and his family remained. The rest were taken. Mm -hmm. It says, I saw the, the beasts and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his armies. And the beast was taken. And with him, the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast and them that worship his image. Though a lot of people didn't already got them, got that motherfucker see help, man. These both were cast alive. Ooh, that's a cut. That's a cut. Nigga talking about hell, the lake of fire is where you go, your spirit going burn for eternity. Nah. This say you got that. See, let me read it again. Where is that? It says, these both. I'm going to read at the top. It says, and the beast was taken. And with him, the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast. Motherfuckers received the mark of the beast. You putting that, that's a subdermal device, meaning under the skin. So that means you got flesh on your body, right? Come on, man. This is, that's, man, that's simple. And them that worship his image, these both were cast into the lake of fire. No, these both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. And the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, which sword proceeded out of his mouth. And all the fowls were filled with their flesh, man. The sword that coming out of their mouth is that, is that, is that blast mm. from that chariot, man. A laser blast, concentrated heat, concentrated fire. That shit gonna be hotter than the nukes. <laughs> and probably. All, and all the birds was full off your car. Man, oh my goodness. Birds didn't probably, birds probably didn't even burn. They ate that shit and got gone. Uh, <laughs> some roasted niggas. Uh, they hit the they hit the sky. It took off uh, probably. Roasted crackers and niggas. Uh, <laughs> yeah, roasted gals. Uh, Kriggers, roasted Kriggers. <laughs> <laughs> Call y'all that Kriggers. Motherfucker, we can get that uh, Exodus, I mean that second Exodus 13, and we can close it out. Alright, this is uh, second Exodus chapter 13. Cause a point been made, man. Ain't no need to keep beating a dead horse, man. Your space for it. Oh, you got it. This is second Exodus chapter 13, verse 1. And they came to pass after seven days, I dreamed a dream by night. And lo, there arose a wind from the sea that it moved all the waves thereof. And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. Right, man, when, when the Lord returned, you motherfuckers is going to tremble. You motherfuckers is, is, is going to die with, 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 with heart attacks, you know. Strokes. Right. You you must, bro. <laughs> Verse four. And whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice, like as the earth faileth when it filleth the fire. Yeah, they they burned that blast from that chariot, man. Mm -hmm. The mouth of that chariot. Mm -hmm. <sighs> like on uh, Independence Day, mm -hmm. when they hit the, I think it was the Capitol. They ain't putting that in movies for nothing, man. The Capitol, the the White House, the Empire State the Building. Empire State Building, I think that was the Empire. Yeah, State. it was. Mm-hmm. Nah, that that may not have been, but 
They was because they were standing. The Empire State Building goes up into a uh, uh, antenna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was still a high ass skyscraper, and they had went up there thinking that the, the so called angels, I mean, the so called aliens were friendly. Yeah. <laughs> they had that building. Look, <laughs> put man, come on, blasted they had through the building. You out here with this dumb ass shit. We angels. We don't look like that. We look like so called black men with big ass afros. Right. Not no big ass heads, man, and ugly ass eyes. Nice ass beards, man. What you got it? Verse 5. And after this, I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men. Yeah, you, you in NATO and all your, all your neighboring countries that, that you become allied with, man. Mm -hmm. That you become confederate against the nation of the children of Yasha Allah, man. The princes of the power. You mm -hmm. got it. It's say out of no, with you, Esau, Edom. You got it from the four winds of the heaven. To subdue the man that came out of the sea. Y'all trying to subdue your house shot. Put him in captivity. You can't do it. Subdue me and put in captivity. Put under feet. Mm -hmm. You can't do it. You got it. Verse 6. But I beheld and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew upon it. Big a big chariot, man. Yeah, the fathership. The fathership, man. Huge. Verse 7, but I would have seen a region or place where out the hill was graven, and I could not. So big, you, don't, you can't tell where it began. You can't tell where it end. Mm -hmm. You don't know the side, where the side start and where the side end. This is huge. Mm -hmm. why, does, why does the scripture say the day of the Lord shall be dark, man? Mm -hmm. yeah, no light in it. <laughs> Ain't no light in it, man. Ooh, that that cherry gonna be cast in the shadow, bro. Yeah, and everybody on earth is gonna be under that shadow. In that shadow. You got it. Verse seven. But I would have seen the re. Yeah, I read that. But I would have seen a region or place where where out the hill was graven, and I could not. And after this, be I beheld and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him yep, were you in. Right. And your space force. You got it. Right. All they which which were gathered together to subdue him were so afraid and yet durst fight. Yeah, you they were so afraid. Too fucking scared to fight the chariot, your house shot the angels, man. And they coming with huge chariots like that, man. Mm -hmm. Who can make war with them, man? Nobody. They but yes, durst fight because the Lord gonna put the spirit on you to fight. Mm -hmm. you, you ain't got no choice and all you so-called negroes is getting ready to go into the military you finna get ready to fight against your power Shit, yeah. <laughs> that's cold it in any negro or latino if you want to get in that man army go right ahead you are two-thirds yeah you might well kiss your family goodbye that's it but you ain't coming back is it put your head between your own legs kiss your ass goodbye yeah verse nine and lo as he saw the violence of the multitude that came he neither lifted up his hand nor held sword nor any instrument of war come on. but what happened verse 10 but only i saw that he said out of his mouth and it has been a blast of fire and out of his lips a flaming breath and out of his tongue he had he cast out sparks and tempest. Mm -hmm. And they were all mixed together, the blast of fire and flaming breath and the great tempest and fell with violence upon the multitude which were prepared to fight and burn them up everyone so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude, nothing was to be perceived but only dust and smell of smoke. So a big ass whole multitude of people in an instant, got beat the motherfucking powder. Yeah, yeah. In an instant, violently, it said violently fell upon the multitude, man. Mm. And, and what Eddie said when I saw this, I was afraid. Man, you can't do <laughs> you can't do that. What be afraid? That's why he say, "Who shall deliver me in those days?" Good man. Who shall deliver me in those days? What the hell? What law? What have you just showed me? Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, it's it's about to get bad. So why why y'all stuck on 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 this 
you know, voting shit. You still stuck on this P. Diddy shit. I right, got them, uh, 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 um, the nigga from the Migo and his wife Cardi B. You know, y'all, y'all stuck on all this stupid shit, man. This man is 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 is, is getting his space force, you know, intact, man. Behind the scenes, man. You hope. Yeah, y'all, y'all stuck stuck on these sports, man. This man is is, is stutter passing laws, man. Come to come after you, stupid ass. I'm writing man. decrees. And we just saw we uh just dropped down and said they just knocked off somebody else off the face of the earth over there in, in the eastern hemisphere, man. The Middle East is so called. They done knocked somebody else off, man. All right. World War Three is brewing. It's it's brewing. Hey, the killer about to start screaming. All right. And the only time Jake gonna lift his head up is, is when they hit his house, when they mm -hmm. hit his home. It's gonna be too late then, cause then the whole America is gonna goddamn be in chaos, man. Yep. You uh -huh. know? The the Lord had, had his, um hand would have been pulled back by then, man. Mm-hmm. Shit, fuck y'all niggas, man. We'll remove their heads. Go get them, say. Yep. You know the Lord hand is stretched out still, man, for you, for you, uh, for the one third. But you two thirds, y'all ain't gonna get it. You know the warning gonna keep going out and keep going out until they start making a man an offender of word, and then the Lord gonna cause the family to hear the word, man. Mm -hmm. We ain't gonna be on the internet or either on the highways and byways no more. Nine times you shit didn't get it. Right. We we ain't gonna be out here re re reproving you, rebuking you forever. You know? Huh? We gonna have to get somewhere and dump the fuck off. Yeah, yeah, you know, grace period is out of here. Now it's time if you don't have no faith, if you haven't built up no faith on that rock, which is your house, shy, you through. Mm -hmm. You through because you done built your faith upon sand. And when those storm come in, that flood, when the enemy get ready to come in like a flood, trials and tribulations come, your shit gonna fall. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> your shit gonna fall, man, like the scripture say, without hesitation, man immediately you know in an instant you're gonna fall yeah yeah you know but we ain't gonna keep running you know with that being said hopefully this lesson has been edifying through the spirit of power y'all by showing y'all shot we're gonna end it by giving all glory honor and praises to your yeah, hope by showing your house shot by showing a couple dots double on the side positive and elder great millstone teacher rule well who are still teaching and ruling well Peace, brothers, and taste to the hopefully you let. Shalom. Shalom. Ba 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 